Look. Oh, well, yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit crumpled, but we can steam that out in a jiffy, love. Don't you no, worry. No, look. Oh. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's not going to come out without a good long soak. I'm not sure the satin's going to like that. And you've got another one. What about that lovely blue dress? This is the cleaners. Oh. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. <laughs> All right, come on now. That's enough. Nobody wants to hear that. But you don't understand. Nearly all Mr. Corngold's girls become stars. It's my chance to lift myself out of the rut and be seen at last. <laughs> well, being seen isn't everything, love. <laughs> it is for me. <laughs> Come on, stand up your lucky day. What? Why? So I think I can help you. You just said you couldn't. I can't do anything if you don't get up. Right. Take off your clothes. You can borrow my dress. <laughs> <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Just do as I say and a bit less of your nonsense. Go on, behind the screen. This is Harris. Oh. You look lovely, ducks. Just the ticket. How was your trip? I should laugh. Where did you go? Oh, Paris. Yeah, it was. You said you'd only be gone a day. Everything went to pieces without you. It's magical. I mean, you know how tidy I am. Normally. So romantic. This is H. You dark horse. <laughs> oh, God, that's him. Ooh, you knew where to come, then. I knew you'd rescue me, darling. You're my fairy godmother. <laughs> Dear Mrs. H, sorry about the dress, but please don't worry. I'm OK. I was checking my lipstick in the mirror when suddenly... I went up in flames. I might have burnt to a crisp if a helpful friend hadn't come to my rescue. Mr. Corngold says I should sue. Gone to my mum's to recover. 